Hey guys, I thought I'd post a video showing off my late 2006 iMac 17 inch that I found on Craigslist for $50. Um, the guy that I was talking to over Craigslist said that it booted up to just a white screen and he couldn't figure out what to do with it because he's mostly a PC guy. Um, so I did a little research and I found out that it was most likely a hard drive error, or like a bad hard drive or a bad hard drive cable. So I took the gamble and I bought it and lucky enough it was all it was is a bad hard drive. And I went ahead and installed um reinstalled the operating system which cool enough was still in the CD drive. <laughs> um so the cool thing is I installed Snow Leopard and I went through my old Apple account through my old purchases and I downloaded Lion. I installed Lion and then I boot camped it with Windows 10. Well, I started with Windows 7, then I went up to Windows 10. Um, but everything is working great. I put in um, a really cheap Bluetooth adapter in the USB port and it works just fine. Um, I'm really surprised with how nice the screen is um, and how well everything works. Uh, so, this is Windows 10. I installed open office because I didn't want to install word yet because I don't know if I'm gonna sell this or keep it um, but I've been relatively surprised the only thing I can say that really has been a problem is video playback I, I normally have to play it back in 480p which is understandable because it has a really weak GMA 950 graphics card um, but open office runs great on this um, Everything's pretty fluid. Um, I'm really liking it. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and I'll show you how to boot into OS X. We'll see. This is my first video, so I apologize for any shaky camera, bad audio, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'll just boot it into OS X right now and I'll show you some specs. By the way, I'm filming this on my LG V10, which I still haven't really grasped all the functions and all the different manual settings, so I have it on Auto Ultra HD. So, let's see. We have... I'll show you here. It's the 1.83 GHz Core 2 Duo with 2 gigs of RAM. Some people say you can upgrade it to 4, but it'll only recognize 3 gigs. Um, here's a little bit more information. So yeah, I put in, let's see, I just put in a standard 1 terabyte hard drive. It was a Seagate 7200 RPM, which seems to be doing just fine. Um, so you can see I partitioned it 500 gigs to each operating system. Um, so overall usability is great. Um, on the OS X side, I'm still pretty used to using more updated software. I have a 5K iMac that I just bought, which, you know, it's really hard to do too much on this little guy when I can do it so much better and more efficiently on my iMac. Um, so I mostly bought this as a gamble and kind of a toy, I guess, to tinker around with. And it's pretty cool that I got it up and running so if I can't sell it I'll probably donate it to someone who needs a computer um, help someone out in that regard but it was really fun and I just wanted to show you that it is possible um, to install Windows 10 on one of these old computers uh, that's one thing that Microsoft did pretty well is making sure it was backwards compatible so if you have any questions or comments let me know how I can do better I don't know if I'm going to be doing too many videos, but um, I just thought I would post something and see what you guys thought.